Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, we're going to be looking at horizontal pod autoscaler topic in Kubernetes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take an example that is provided in Kubernetes documentation and uh, using which we're going to understand this horizontal pod autoscaler. Okay, so let me just tell you in plain simple words what it is first. So when you have a deployment or a daemon or a replica set, you can actually increase the number of pods, uh, you know, you know, in that deployment or uh, replica set, right, you can increase the number of pods. So you can have one pod or you can have three pods and you can just increase it manually, like we all know that, right. So what if we can do that automatically? <clears throat> So for that purpose, actually, Kubernetes itself provides a method. Uh, we can use this uh, horizontal pod autoscaler resource to make that happen, okay? So if that wasn't making sense, actually just uh, stick with me. I'll probably, uh, the example will help out. Uh, so in this example, what they are doing is basically they are gonna spin up a web server uh, that runs some PHP code and we're gonna actually uh, put a lot of uh, load on that web server and we are gonna make it scale automatically. So the first thing we're gonna do is this thing actually. So we're gonna check whether your Kubernetes is, uh, you know, at least this version, right? So 1.23, right? So we can do that by running a kubectl command kubectl version. So I actually upgraded my Kubernetes cluster last week to version 1.23. So we're good there. Uh, the second thing we need is actually a, a tool actually called metric server. And uh, you know, if you click here, it takes you to a Git repo and they tell you like all about it, but it, it's basically a mechanism to collect metrics about your resources, like CPU, memory usage, that kind of thing. So uh, what I did was I just uh, copied this HTTP and I downloaded it uh, using a wget command. So like wget and then that HTTP link, uh, you get this YAML file. And if you go into the YAML file and uh, if you go down to this uh, resource, basically like a deployment of metric server, you have a bunch of uh, arguments and you need to actually like add this, uh, you know, kubelet insecure TLS to actually uh, skip the certificate checks. And of course, you know, if you're doing a production deployment, you want to actually take care of that, but for, uh, this particular example, we don't need uh, all the fancy uh, certification, uh, sorry, fancy certificates and SSL checks and all that. So I just downloaded this file and I added this thing to that particular um, metric server resource. Okay, so now I save that and I'm going to uh, just apply this YAML file to create the metric server uh, tool. So it creates a bunch of things. It creates roles, role bindings, uh, service and a deployment and an API service, right? So all these things are created, you know, we don't need to understand what they are, but I'll just show you what they can do actually, right? Uh, so back to our uh, horizontal pod autoscaler or autoscaling. So what we are going to do is we're going to take this YAML file. It's a huge YAML file. And we're gonna go here and then just create a file called hpa.yaml and then put this YAML code in here. So this one, it just creates a web server. <clears throat> it creates a web server and it's gonna run some resource intensive PHP code in it, okay? So, and then it's gonna create a, a service uh, called PHP Apache and then it's gonna expose it on the port 80 Okay, and uh, they are providing an image, uh, you know, which is already built by Kubernetes, uh, you know, it's, uh, for, for this documentation purposes. So we're gonna just go ahead and apply this YAML file as well. 
okay cool so now there is a deployment there's a service and if you just want to uh, just check the services you see like a couple of services right and then if you want to check a deployment check the kubernetes deployments on this cluster so there's a couple of deployments so i'm just going to delete this deployment just to actually um, clear up some space uh, in my cluster because we are going to be creating a few pods and i don't want any i don't want any uh, resource conflicts so uh, then i'm going to delete this uh, what I can do is I can just delete the pod actually. Okay, cool. So now we cleared some resources. So let's go back and here. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, run this command to apply the auto scaling thing, right? So it auto scales this deployment that we just created. And we're saying like, it's going to be the minimum number of pods going to be one, the maximum number of pods going to be 10. And the threshold, CPU percentage threshold is 50. What they mean by that is like if uh, basically the HPA controller will increase and decrease the number of replicas to maintain an average CPU utilization across all parts, uh, you know, 50% actually, right? So this HPA controller is going to maintain the CPU usage um, at 50% right so so we are below basically so we're going to run this command so that's cool so we have run the auto scale command and now let's try running this kubectl get hpa and see if so it's going to take some time to populate okay right now the cpu uh, consumption is only 0%, right? So you can do kubectl get deployment. There's only one pod uh, that is running actually, which is in this deployment. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run this command in a different session uh, in the same cluster. And this command, it uh, basically creates another pod and it's based on this image and then inside this image, we're running a wget command on this PHP Apache service, this particular service. And we're going to put a lot of load on it, actually. That's the point, right? So we're going to put a lot of load on it. Okay, so I'm going to go here and run this command. Okay. So this is cool, the load is, it should be going up. Uh, in the meanwhile, what we can do is, we can just uh, run this command over here to actually monitor the HPA. All right, you can see that the CPU usage just went up like crazy. 223% <laughs> that's like huge um, so it's going to keep going up so what we're going to do is we're going to cancel that command see it just keeps going up like we don't <laughs> so already like uh, the auto scaler has kicked in and then uh, it's increased the number of replicas to four so I'm just going to cancel this command just cancel it and I'm going to run the other command, which is this command right here to see how many pods we have now. We have five pods now. So, and it's going to keep increasing as long as, um, so now this one, oh, we're going to watch the HPA, right? So right now the pod uh, the average CPU consumption or CPU usage percentage is around 66%, which is still high. My guess is it will go like up to six or seven and then it will stop. Um, yeah, so it's around seven. We're still doing 58 percentage. Uh, 
CPU average across all parts and it's going to go up until the the CPU average CPU usage on each part comes down actually right so this is basically what the horizontal pod auto scaling can do actually okay so all right so that was a quick demo to uh, explain about this topic and hope that was useful as usual check out my other videos uh, on kubernetes on docker there's a lot of videos in my channel do subscribe leave some uh, questions and you know just say hello and uh, thank you